What what effect will two x have on the graph? It will become narrower. Okay, because earlier whatever you achieved at one x equal to one, now you start achieving it at x equal to half. Yes or no? Whatever you used to achieve at x equal to two, now you will start achieving it at x equal to one. See what are the difference between this graph and this graph? Whatever you achieved here at two, you will achieve the same here at x equal to one. Whatever achieved you, whatever you achieved here at four, you will start achieving that here at two. So the graph will become shrink along the y-axis. Okay. That shrink part is fine. I don't. I'm not very interested in it. So, in fact, I want you to plot this. This we can anyways take care later. Done. Done. Acha, clearly show the vertical and the horizontal asymptotes of the new graph. If possible, write the equation. So write down the equation of vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Please write down the equation of the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Shall we discuss this? Done? Okay, okay. All of you have done. Can we discuss it now? Yeah. I don't know. What are you writing? So it is like saying y minus 11 is 1 by. I'm purposely writing it like this. Okay. This tells me that I have to first begin with 1 by x cube. The shrinking part I'll take care of later on. The idea is to know the shape first. Okay. Of course, vertical asymptotes for this and this will not be the same. Remember that. Anyways, so first I will draw this graph. This graph is going to be more flatter like this. Yes or no? Now, what I am going to do next is, I am going to plot, I am going to change the sign of y, so I am going to put a negative sign over here. Okay? Or you can change the sign of x itself, doesn't make much of a difference. You can do this also. Doing this means reflecting the graph about y axis. Is that fine? Now, next what I am going to do is, I am going to change my x with x minus 5. That means I am shifting this graph 5 units to the right. 5 units to the right. So this will now become like this. Follow the pink graph. Correct? Now change your y with y minus 11. Same graph will go up to by 11 units. So, ultimately your graph will appear like this. I am just showing the Asymptotes for you. Okay. So your graph will finally appear like this. Which will this line be? X is equal to 5. What will this line be? No, but it is for this one. What will happen if I have to come to this one? I have to just shrink it, so this will become. If I didn't get it. See, I just shrunk the graph towards y-axis. 
So this horizontal vertical asymptote came half at, half of its distance. Right? So instead of actually moving it, I just change it as y equal to phi bar. Is that fine? Can we check this on GeoGebra? All the questions that I would be giving you in the handouts, you can actually verify whether you have done it correctly by tracing it on GeoGebra. That's not good. Yes. What was the function? Tell me. Uh, y is equal to less plus one by five. Eleven plus one by five minus two by. Eleven plus one divided by the five. Five minus two x. So this last 15 minutes is like 
I am teaching you how to manage your stress. Right? Be honest because you are sitting very close to each other. Don't try to peep in what others are doing. They may not be drawing the curve correctly. Plot. These three things have to be indicated for these respective questions. Write your name on the top of your answer sheet. 